Jesus also made it very clear about how there will be false prophets and false apostles that will be rising up. A lot of believers or even a lot of pastors or leaders, something that I've observed is this, uh, is when they encounter a pseudo prophetic or a false prophetic spirit, they intend to shut even the authentic as well. Okay. Uh, that's not supposed to be our uh, response. What we can actually do is equip our believers, equip the church, all right, in the authenticity of the true prophetic ministry. Unfortunate side of social media is also that uh, clips can be taken so out of context. Sometimes we don't really know what's happening behind uh, the scenes, why certain things have played out the way they have. And we have this instant reaction, right? You either like or you, you know, it's very quick. Like we keep moving from one thing to the next. So personally, at least, you know, I, I keep depending on the Holy Spirit, asking him for wisdom, asking him what he thinks about a certain thing. When it comes to the prophetic, it's quite unfortunate that uh, a lot of people take it to the extreme. They don't steward it well. So I really believe it does call for a lot of wisdom, a lot of um, reverence, a lot of fear of the Lord because this place of power is so easy to take for granted or you know try and manipulate and it's really heartbreaking when that happens as far as social media goes uh, you know my personal view is you really can't take everything at face value you need to test everything as far as those who go way off in the prophetic almost bordering on false prophets and false prophecies i think there is a time and a place to call them out if you have some amount of influence to do something about it, then by all means you should do something, not stay silent. But if you don't, I think the least that you can do is pray. Pray that the Lord will expose such false prophets because we do know that in these days, in these last days, there's going to be a rise of false prophets and false teaching. We don't have to go beating up other people. That's my take on it because it just doesn't work. The world is too large, too fast. And our God is more than able to defend the prophetic in his body and the original in his body. And I think we've got to take that stand that our God is more than able. So there is, you don't need to worry and I don't need to worry. So I would just amplify the truth. So when someone brings a prophetic word, you know, theatrics or not, of course, the basic things is test it. Who is saying it? Is he or she authentic? Right? But sometimes on social media, you don't really know if their life is in line with that. So we don't just take everything and just swallow it. So I think we've got to do our due diligence, like you would do with everything. If you buy a phone nowadays, even if you check online, you've got to do due diligence. So that's the basic thing that anyone would do when you're taking something in. right? So that goes without saying that we, we ought to do due diligence. And what does the Bible say about due diligence? It is test every spirit. Right? Don't take every everything go back to the holy spirit check and then you know receive it or reject it there are guidelines that we gave uh, to test whether right or wrong yeah. firstly is it glorifying jesus secondly does it witness to our spirit is it scriptural is it balanced you know so uh, we need to test it and we don't follow it and advise people, you know, not to follow those things that we know is wrong. Jesus very emphatically thought there are wolves in sheep clothing. We need to discern in the spirit. We need to check what they are saying. We need to go to people who are so spiritually grown to help us, guide us, and tell us whether we are whether they are right or wrong. When you come across a false spirit, or you. You, you come across uh, someone who uh, who's claiming to be uh, a prophet uh, or claiming to be someone who's moving in the prophetic, but you know uh, by the discerning of the spirit what he's saying or the way he's functioning is not biblical, is not uh, Christ-like. So it's easier for you to shun it away than putting off the entire prophetic ministry. So I think uh, it requires wisdom to know what to do when, but I would always look at, do I have influence uh, in this particular situation or in this person's life? If I don't, then the next best thing 
is to pray and seek God and ask God to intervene.